Yeah. From the BART train to a tour bus. Still the same game, except I'm pulling more sluts, more butts, more butts. My channel is slowly becoming a blog where I just sit here and talk about the random things that cross my mind weekly and and I like it really. I, I used to have this insane pressure on myself to constantly make these creative sketches or heavily edited vlogs, you know, to prove that I'm creative, but I don't really feel that pressure anymore. I mean obviously I still want to be creative. But sometimes I just want to, you know, talk shit and I let myself do that now. So basically, welcome to my blog, but it's a video, so so it's a vlog. I believe that as you grow as a YouTuber, you go through certain stages to enhance your growth. Some people write books, some people do tours. And I believe the biggest thing right now is boxing matches, which is why, which is why I am challenging anyone that is willing to step up to a boxing match. C4, Brandon. They, there's not many, there's not many male boss YouTubers that I'm aware of, so. Uh, Naomi, Horata, I don't care. I'm, I'm kidding, obviously. I don't want to fight anyone. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Love done a dag turner to a dick liker. Wait, hold up. That is, <laughs> that's kind of a problematic line. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Love down a dyke, turn her to a dick liker. Black Eyed Peas, what's going on? <laughs> Judging by the way I break into rap mid-video, I believe I've done that in the past few videos. Um, you'd think that I'd go down the other YouTuber route of making rap music, but I, I have. I I've tried, really. And every time I try, it just, it goes down a weird route. Yo, uh, check it, check it. I don't need no beat while I spit this heat. Got your hands going up and down like when I beat my meat, uh. You, you know what else really pops off on YouTube? Relationship videos, more especially breakup videos. Hey, them just bad you, bro. David and Liza's breakup video got 68 mil. Oh, Jesus. Gotta get a girlfriend and break up with her real quick for a video. Ah, but that means like, that means like we'd have to like actually fall in love and then have like wonderful, wholesome moments together so that the breakup is more emotional and actually means something, you know? Ah, nah, that's a, that's a lot of planning for one video. If I ever had a breakup video, I'd do mine different. I'd get us both handheld microphones so that we can sing the, the song from High School Musical 2 when Try and Gabriella broke up. What about us? What about everything we've been through? <laughs> what, what about you? Uh, I used to watch a lot of videos on how to grow your channel and a big point I always saw was you should try make videos that leave your viewers with something to walk away with and that kind of worries me because honestly i don't know what you guys walk away with after you watch my videos and you know i'm actually like i'm genuinely curious so maybe i don't comment down below because like i don't know man like two weeks ago i was talking about movie ideas and i mentioned horny zombies like in the middle of this recording i started listening to old high school musical songs because i felt like it which made me realize that what really matters is what you want your channel to be about for example i just want to have fun and express myself and say what's on my mind while also providing you guys with a laugh and hopefully an escape from the horrors of this world. And you know what? If horny zombies does that, then horny zombies it is. My favorite piece of advice has always been the simplest one. Just be yourself and have fun with it because the enjoyment of the creator translates to the quality of the video. Imagine if one day I showed up and just started talking about the Pythagoras theorem, just cause I wanted to actually teach you something, right? I wouldn't enjoy it and I don't think you guys would enjoy watching it either. I like some of the dips videos, but what the fuck does he know about Pythagoras? So at the end of the day, if someone was to actually ask me for advice, I'd just say be yourself. Cause really that's all that matters. And I'm not just talking about YouTube, yeah, I'm also talking about in life in general. Just, just be yourself and surround yourself with people that allow you to be yourself. The moment where a friend or whoever doesn't want you to be yourself anymore and they want you to start acting different, then maybe they're not worth having in your life anymore. They're not worth it. Unless you're like, unless you're like a criminal and people are telling you not to be a criminal anymore or, or you hate dogs, then, then don't be yourself. Yeah, do better. Do better. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this week. So um, if you enjoy it, please like and subscribe. You know, I'm trying to grow the channel. Also, follow me on my socials. I'm low-key trying to become an Instagram model. So <laughs> following me there would be nice. <laughs> but yeah, um, for now, it's been your boy Dips. I'll see you guys next week and peace.